Jar Jar Binks. Kill him off from what? That movie came out over a decade ago. Uh, from the new movies, dumbass. You're not getting it, Eric. Only people who care about this are people like you. Jar Jar probably won't even be in the new ones. He won't? So we did it! Fan power, woo! <laughs> Well, we all agree this is important, right? Just... Eric, you need to move on. Move on? Fuck you, dude! Jar Jar Binks is the greatest atrocity of 1999. You realize Columbine happened in 1999, right? Oh, man, ancient history, bro. Move on. Oh, my God. What? Jar Jar happened 15 years ago. If he went to jail for manslaughter, he'd probably be out by now. Well, if he didn't commit manslaughter, he committed murder because he killed my childhood. Wait, weren't you like 30 when that movie came out? 33. The point is that those movies belong to the fans. No, they belong to the studios that financially backed them. And the artists that created them. Yeah, yeah, but I paid to see the movie, so, I mean, not literally. Technically, I stole it on Kazaa, but I mean, ugh, why aren't you guys getting this? Sometimes I just wish I could go back in time before the 21st century and tell George Lucas to never come up with Jar Jar Binks in the first place. You wouldn't go back in time to stop 9 11. Dude. What the fuck is a 9-11? Oh, fuck you. Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna apologize. Yeah, this is, this is that moment. Top five worst moments about Jar Jar Binks. I'll start and finish, you guys listen. Number five, his dumb voice. Not a moment. Number four, his retarded fucking ears. So offensive and not a moment. Number three, maybe, I don't know, spend some actual time inside the matrix. He's thinking of the